Hey everyone, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and uh, I wanted to go over my uh, uh, Cena mic kit with you guys. Um, I've had one for a good bit now. It's been on my website and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, we can go ahead and open it up here. This is actually um, version 2. This is an updated version of my previous version, obviously. And um, I have some preset animation, softbox, objects and lights, and studio rooms and ramps. So if we go in here, we can check out some of the animations I have. Um, I have a, a preset intro animation, which I can, I can just open up and show you guys real quick. It's um, pretty simple, but uh, still, you know, pretty cool. So if you guys are, you know, new to Cinema 4D and uh, want to maybe learn how to make some intros or something, you can look at how I did this, or you could even use it yourself. Um, so, you know, this background here just kind of flies in and then the text comes into it. And um, it's uh, got pretty decent lighting and um, textures and stuff. Obviously, you can change all that if you don't like it as its default. Um, and then we got some other ones in here, which I'm not going to bother with. Um, we got um, some soft boxes, which I will show you. Let's create a new scene. Just drag this out. So whoop, I'm inside the soft box. Here we go. There's a soft box and it has um, Expresso controls, which you can see right here. I Expresso tagged it. And, um, you know, you can adjust the uh, gradient. You can make it, you know, I don't know why you'd want to, but you can make it red and, uh, you know, yellow or something. Um, and as you can see, you can adjust the brightness of it. If you look here, there's a light. You can also adjust the brightness of the light. You can change the color of it to red or any color you want. Um, here we have shadow density, shadow color shadow type, many different options. Um, another cool thing is this x-ray mode here. We can just go ahead and turn it on. You can see uh, completely through the um, softbox. So if you're working with something and the softbox is blocking your view of it, maybe you're trying to move this into the right position and you want to see the object, you can go ahead and turn that on. You can turn on or off scene by camera. So when you render it out, you will see nothing. Um, or you won't, well, you won't see nothing. If you have an object in there, you'll be able to see the object, just not the uh, softbox. And then um, we have adjustments here for the sizes, or for the size. We've got rotation. Um, we can move it side to side, up and down. So, you know, several different um, adjustment options. And then uh, we got a ring light here. Let me go ahead and remove the softbox from the scene. Oop, I should have done this. There we go. So here we have a ring light. You can uh, change the color. Let's make it white instead of cylinders. Let's make it spheres, or we could make it cubes. You can adjust the number of them. Um, you can adjust the radius. Um, rotate it. Uh, let's see what all do we have here. Um, you can adjust the uh, height, the width, um, the brightness, many different options. Um, go back and um, here we have um, different objects you can use to test your lighting, um, which I'll show you in a second. I'll create a quick scene and I'll show you. And then here's the uh, ramps you can use, different ramps. Um, these all work pretty well. Um, some of my favorites are these here with the lighting overhead. They, they give you some good results. Um, and then we got rooms and studios. Um, let me just open this one real quick and just show you. Um, again, this is Expresso tagged, which you can see here. You know, you can adjust this different settings. Well, let's go ahead and render this out. And as you can see, it renders out pretty quick. And um, the default has this like sun in the corner here. We can go ahead and turn that off by going to lens flare adjustments and turning both of these inactive. And then if we render it out again, you'll see that it is turned off. 
but you can see this has you know nice reflections and lighting and some shadowing um, it's all really nice um, you can adjust everything again the brightness the brightness goes up really high I don't think anyone ever needed that high um, you can adjust the uh, color of the Sun we can make it white so there's that um, we can adjust the type so if you want spot or area which I don't think you want to change it I think infinite is probably the best um, we got shadow options here so again you know many different options and you know as you can see let me go ahead and here we go you can see them a little better a lot of different rooms they all look very good so um, let's just go ahead and set up the scene real quick and I'll, and I'll show you guys um, how nice this can look um, file new um, let's open up one of these here. Um, I'll just grab out this, I guess. And then let's grab just sphere. As you can see, all this stuff's quite large compared to the uh, defaults for things like uh, spheres and cubes and stuff like that. So I'll just grab out a sphere here. And let's grab out the capsule. And then let's go ahead and just add some quick textures to them. Uh, let's make this green, some reflection for now. Add that to that one, and we'll make this one blue. Actually, you know what? Let's do gray. I like gray. So there's that. And then we can add in a camera real fast. And then let's see. Let's go to soft boxes. Open one up. And then go right up here. Get the soft box where we want it. You can obviously use the um, customs controls for this. I'm just doing it real quick with the uh, tools up here. Let's figure out where we want this. We'll place one right there. And then let's move one over here. Rotate this some more. Oop. Whoops, a daisy. Alright, and then I'm going to turn down the light brightness on that one a little bit. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. So, already that's looking pretty good. Um, we can go ahead and make it look a little better. We can go in here, turn this on. Um, global illumination may end up being a little too bright with global illumination on. I'm not sure. If so, we can always adjust it. Render that out real fast. That, that didn't take too long. So already you can see it's got some nice shadows and lighting, and. Uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. I just want to go over this real quick with you and show you. Um, it's really inexpensive. Um, you can go on my website and check it out. Um, you know, it comes with a lot of stuff and a lot of features. And uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it, and the price is great. So um, I'll leave you a link to my website in the description. And uh, you guys can go check it out. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.